Hello and welcome to Uncapped, where we lift the lid on natural and low-tox lifestyles with essential oils. I am your host, Jess Rate. Today I am sitting down with one of the nicest people in our doTERRA community, the bewitching Chloe Hilton. I've had the privilege of watching Chloe over the past three odd years as she's expanded, shifted and delved deeper into her true being as a self-confessed plant woman, guided by the world of magic. Her company, Conscious Chloe, shares the beauty of toxin-free living entwined with a beautiful nod to Mother Nature herself. Chloe is a deeply passionate mother of three beautiful children, balancing her precious time between her many loves, including running the Sacred Elixir, a ceremonial cacao company created to bring ritual to our everyday lives. What a treat it is to welcome Chloe Hilton to Uncapped. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to have you on the couch. Welcome. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. I'm super excited to come and share knowledge about the oils. Absolutely. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, hmm. how are you? How am I? Tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I think that's like the standard response from totally. me, isn't it? Tired. But what are we? The second week back at school. So we're just trying to hmm. find our feet with routine at the moment. Oh. So yeah, between kids, businesses, we've just moved house. So life is busy. But I kind of like it that way. I feel like I um, I flow very well with chaos. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> well, you're in the right space. Supported you're an by entrepreneurs. <laughs> totally, absolutely. Yeah. Well, speaking of entrepreneurialism, I was on your website the other day, and I was looking at not only those beautiful words that you've written Thank on your you. website. It's just like poetry. Yeah. I was quite moved. Yeah, by by the words that you wrote. And there was something in particular that really resonated with me. It was almost like I got that, you know, that pang of relatability mm -hmm. when you go, oh, this person's just like me. Yeah. You find that that like-minded individual. Yeah. And there was something that you wrote that really yeah, hit home. Can I share it? You can. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you wrote, that's not to say I was open to it. I was on the cusp of a mind and body breakdown. I just birthed my third child and in turn a third version of myself in the short space of four years. My body had done an incredible job, but it was quickly going into overwhelm and shut, mm. shut down. I couldn't ignore the pull towards plants and their medicine. I trusted the inner wisdom that was deeply calling me towards their power. Mm. Wow. Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, it's interesting hearing your words back, isn't it? You're <laughs> like, ooh. There was some depth there. Um, yeah. yeah, so I did. I birthed three kids in four years. Mm. I was, you know, still in my mid to late 20s. So my body was like adjusting to all the hormonal changes and just that big emotional and energetic change to becoming a mother. Um, and I noticed little things creeping in that I was not happy to just settle for, you know, mm. stress, a little bit of anxiety and overwhelm. And I think in this society, we just kind of make those things normal. And I was like, I don't want this to be a normal part of my mothering. Yeah. Um, I dreamt of being a mum from like ever since I was a little girl, you know, and it was here and I didn't want it to be guised in, in those things. I wanted it to be joyful and full of love. And I'd found my way kind of into the spiritual space at that time. Um, and I was going to yoga regularly and I really loved that. I started meditating. This was quite new for me. We lived a pretty holistic lifestyle anyway. So I thought I'd kind of was like ticking all the boxes, but it was the daily support that I was looking for that I didn't really know what that was you know mm. we were seeing the kinesi or we we're going to the Cairo and we we're doing mm. all those things to make sure that we had a good basis of health and wellness but it was the daily things and that's mm. when the oils kind of turned up for me um, and I had studied aromatherapy so I, ah. I come from pharmacy yeah. and then I did my advanced diploma in beauty therapy and back when I studied many moons ago aromatherapy was a huge component of that because it was still very much intertwined into the products and the treatments and they've always, so they've always been there, even mm. when I was in pharmacy, like we always had the big essential oil section and I'd only ever really kind of utilize them in like making my house smell nice. Mm. So when I say I was open, but wasn't open, that's, that was that context. I didn't really know the depth of what they were. Um, so when they presented, I was still a little bit like, well, they're just going to make my house smell nice. What else mm. are they going to do? But they kept turning up and I'm very much a believer that things present mm. when they need to and they kept knocking and it got louder and it got louder and louder and I was like, okay, <laughs> <You're listening laughs> what are now. these things? I'm listening <laughs> now. What are these things? And um, 
my girlfriend actually gave me the catalog, the doTERRA catalog mm. and I never read anything from back to front like ever I'm like a quick fast yeah am I interested am I not and I read the whole thing but I also read like the live share build guide not just mm. the, the catalog for the wow. oils wow. <laughs> which is so you unlike really me committed. as well <laughs> yeah really committed um, and then they just kind of they landed it made yeah. sense um, and yeah, I got my first kit and I started to see huge shifts instantly. But even in that, I was still skeptical. I was still trying to be like, maybe it's the water that we're drinking. Maybe we've just cleaned up our diet a little bit more. And I was like, maybe it's those essential oils. Isn't it funny that we don't ever want to attribute our, our health, our wellness, mm. our, our, the success in our homes on one little bottle. Yeah. We're always looking for something that we couldn't put our finger on yeah. when it's right in front of I us. I know, it's like the human way of overcomplicating something. And then I was like, like maybe it's that bottle of digestin. <laughs> maybe it's that lavender that we're using at sleep at bedtime. So yeah, completely changed those that daily support that I was looking for. Yeah. And so I'd seen those really beautiful physical changes quite quickly. Mm. Um, I had suffered digestive issues for a really long time and just switching up a few things, mm. I noticed, oh, I'm not having that discomfort comfort anymore what's yeah. happening here hey my my kids are sleeping much better my moods that was the biggest shift for me was my moods and how I was able to like um yeah kind of get through my days with a little bit more ease and grace yeah and it brought joy to my life too like it was like you know being a self-proclaimed little witch it was fun getting up in the morning like doing my diffusers and then getting the kids involved with it and then from there it was like Pandora's box Totally. You know, you start with one thing and then the whole thing just keeps unraveling. Yes. And then it went from like 10 little essential oils to probably like 10,000 in the house now. <laughs> I was going to ask how many do you actually have now? Oh, I don't know. But there's like stations all over the house. So it starts with like a nice little compact kit that you mm. feel like is too much. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm like, oh, I need, I need a whole set for the car. I need a whole set for each kid's school bags. I need a whole set for the bathroom. Like it just doesn't stop. We, we end up leaning on them. Once you, you trust the process and you yeah. trust those little bottles, you do end up leaning on them and you need them accessible all the time yeah. in every and they room really of the house. Do, they really do support every mm. aspect of your life, you know, mm. from flavouring food to creating beautiful ambient vibes in your home mm. to supporting, you know, your children through whatever they're transitioning through, like my daughter's 11 um, in next week. So we're mm. starting to step into that hormonal stage and it's beautiful to know that she has something natural to support that transition for her. Wouldn't that so for me, amazing? they're like my best mates. I don't totally. know how people live without them. <laughs> totally. Well, that was that. That was that tipping point for me. And then, yeah, once they entered, that was six years ago. Wow. Six years ago? Five. Five, you know, time falls into a hole <laughs> a long time ago. But as, yeah. a, as a mother of three young kids, I don't know how I would have yeah. gotten through like most of those childhood changes and transitions with, without them. Yeah. They've yeah. been such a like a foundation or a cornerstone for us to make sure that our health and wellness is like top notch. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I'm the same. When I joined doTERRA, my daughter was 18 months old mm. and there's almost that motherhood before doTERRA yeah. and then there is motherhood after. Yeah. And my gosh, there is such a difference, difference between yeah. not just the, the support that I can provide the family, but it's also that empowerment, mm. not knowing that I'm doing the right thing yeah. for the family in yeah. a healthy, holistic way. Yeah. Um, it's not going to hurt and harm their bodies. It's just going to uplift yeah. and, and energise them in a really positive way. And you see, you see the difference in your children. Like my mm. first two weren't brought up as young with the oils as my youngest was. Mm. And even the difference, and we live a really clean, healthy lifestyle, but even the difference mm. in just my own kids. And then you look at other children who don't have access to the oils and you're yes. like, wow, you know, mine bounce back so quickly. Yes. You know, they sleep incredibly well. Yes. Just their, their bodies are so well supported. So it's, yeah. They're protected. They're protected. Yeah. 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 I love it. And they have a beautiful relationship with them too. So for me that had to refine them in my later years and kind of undo what I'd learned to reapply it to something else. It's like they're just growing up with it. They just know it. So it's like, oh, me, mummy, I'm feeling, my tummy's feeling a little bit off. Where's the tamer? Yeah. Or where's the digestion? They know what to go for to support their bodies. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, I feel like I've got a big mum tick. I'm like, great. Absolutely. <laughs> Carry that into the rest of your life. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so your business, Conscious Chloe, I want to know how you started it because as a woman, You've seen how the oils have impacted your family, how mm. these kids have grown up mm. with the oils. And, and like me, you know, once mm. we're exposed to the oils, you can see the impact mm. that it can make in your home and your lives. Mm. But how do you translate that to someone that you know needs it yeah. 
but is reluctant? Well, I think for me, everything has to come from personal experience. So I never came into this space anticipating to build a business. If someone told me that I was in sales, I would have laughed. It's <laughs> almost a dirty word. Like right? literally, yeah. I was like, no, no, no. And then like network marketing, no, 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 that's not me. I don't do that. Um, but for me, it was like living the lifestyle. And people noticed, started noticing the difference. Mm. And I felt like I had the best tools on the planet as a young mum to support my family. And I started making out rollers or sending out samples or like, here, take this, use the lavender for your, for your kid at nighttime. And mm. they started seeing changes. And then just accidentally from that, I started hosting classes or workshops. So it was never like, hey, I'm going to do this mm. and this is what I'm going to build. But I think because I was living so authentically from that lifestyle standpoint, it was so relatable for people to be yeah. like, I'm, I'm that young mum that's having a hard time with my kids sleeping or feeding or with their yeah. fussiness or my levels of stress um, or my skin's just not doing what it used to do, you know, or I want to reduce my toxic load. Like that was, that was kind of the cornerstone for me it was like I was <clears throat> already living a healthy lifestyle, but there was a few things that I needed to clean up. Mm. So if I could help other mums make those small little changes and have the huge impact that I'd had in my health and wellness and in my home, I was like, hell yeah, I'm so here for that. So it was very yeah. organic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was not planned. Um, I think I mentioned that to you before. I'm like, I'm better when I don't know things are happening. <laughs> I just kind of roll with them. So that's really what happened. And then from there, I saw a really beautiful opportunity to build a business alongside a lifestyle that I truly believed in. Mm -hmm. So I had, like I said, three young kids within four years. Um, Wow. The thought of going back to trying to do nine to five and juggling that yeah. just was near impossible. Yeah. And I was also a single mum at the time as well. So I was like, I, how am I going to fit this in? And so the business opportunity kind of presented and I was like, this works so beautifully with my lifestyle, with my ethos, yeah. with, with my moral compass, with the way that I want to kind of go with my own family. And I can slot my family, my children into this experience too. So... I very much didn't want to be that mum that had like the work life and the family life. It was like, how can I merge it all? Yeah. So doTERRA was that perfect opportunity for me to really truly live in alignment with my values and also my family's values as well. Yeah. Still so, be there for the kids still when they've be got there. a dance recital or they I need to go to school. I have not missed a school pick up or yeah. drop off because I don't have to report back to anybody else, you know. I pretty much built my business from my bed <laughs> or the kitchen bench <laughs> while making dinner, like doing BOGO at the same time <laughs> with the kids running around. And then if I needed to take them to workshops because yeah. what I was who I was teaching to were predominantly young mums yeah. that got it. So if I'm like, hey, I've got to bring my 18-month-old, they're like, great, mine's here too. They can play together. Gosh. So that kind of vision that I had thought up was just there presenting itself and I realised, oh, my God, it doesn't have to be all separate. It yeah. can be one big beautiful thing that flows beautifully together. That's not to say there wasn't moments that weren't hard, mm. but I wouldn't have had it any other way. You know, I didn't have to put my kids in childcare. That was a big value for mm. me. Like I wanted – I chose to be a mother and I wanted to be home with them and this structure of this business supported that for me. Yeah. And then being a single mum that had to provide her own income, like it was all there. It was like, oh, thank you. Well, you know, Nice little neat compact box. That's and because amazing. it was just so in my heart to be like, I, I want other women, other mothers, other families to be able to experience this. I want other children to feel the way my children feel. Yeah. It was and that's so easy. Big thing, isn't it? Because you can mm. feel that power and that, that, that passion when you get to see the impact that it's having, yeah. having in your own lives. Yeah. And you just want to share that message with anyone that will yeah. listen. That yeah. It needs to come from such an authentic genuine yeah. gentle space yeah. so that you don't feel like you're just being sold to yeah because you're not yeah and I had to have that experience yeah. first for it to, to translate and then you know even now like what did I say five or six years later like someone will message me like oh my god that lavender and I'm still like oh, yeah wow <laughs> like still surprised but then I'm like hang on not surprised because <laughs> I've been working with them for so long but yeah, yeah it's been such a beautiful journey and then for from that space it's allowed me to kind of find who I am as well, yeah. you know, come back to my truth, find my purpose and my passion, you know. So doTERRA really opened this door of like connecting me back to nature, connecting me back to the plants and that whole space has just deepened into something that I had never yeah. imagined as well. Um, you know, with my cacao now, with the events and things that I do like that, I, again, never thought that I would be here. Mm. Um, and like going on a co-impact sourcing trip to Guatemala was one of those kind of catalysts for the next business that I kind of branched off in so all of my businesses are intertwined they all mm -hmm. layer and overlap yeah but that's what I wanted like if you think about how I built my business I didn't want to be 
you know, the businesswoman and then the mum. It was like I wanted to be immersed. Yeah. And it's the same with kind of the other projects yeah. and passions that I do. They all kind of flow together. So, so you're a plant mum. I'm a plant mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a plant lady. Talk to me about the sacred elixir because this is absolutely heavenly. Thank you. I am drinking the most beautiful cacao right now. But what's the oil that so you've got in So this it? one's got cardamom in it today. Okay. So back in 2019, I went on a co-impact sourcing trip to mm. Guatemala where we source our cardamom from. Um, and what I learned there was that the cacao and the cardamom in the region that we went to actually grow synergistically together. So from an energetic perspective, actually entwining them mm. in the elixir made so much sense, you know, mm. because they have that beautiful symbiotic relationship together and yeah. it tastes incredible. It's and beautiful. And cardamom is one of my favourite oils. Yeah. But just being on the land where the plants grow and being able to witness that, there was something so deeply powerful about it. So I had been working with cacao for years prior to that experience. Um but that just took it to the next level for me. It really deepened my relationship. And then from there, kind of the sacred elixir was birthed. And the concept behind it, because it comes in a little pod, yeah. was for, for the busy mum, for the busy, you know, people that don't have the time to sit down and, and create this beautiful yeah. brew. It's all there, ready to go. So that's the concept of bringing ritual to the everyday, making it nice and convenient and allowing us to have more time in stillness, yeah. you know, more time in presence, which is really beautiful. So. Well, I can tell you from firsthand experience, <laughs> and thank you for gifting me a special pod because last week I had the most beautiful evening yes. just making that lovely drink. And, and I've been getting into cacao a little bit of late. I have yeah. a, a close friend that also organises cacao um, distribution. And so I've been just slightly exposed to it. And it's funny how it's just cre crept into a bit of a ritual for well, me. You dip at your night. toes in and then you're like, oh, I like this. This is a really <laughs> nice feeling. Now, yeah. I'm a coffee drinker through mm. and through. I mean, like you, I've got kids, we're busy. And I'm tired by seven o'clock and I'm mm. ready to crawl into bed. Having a lovely cup of cacao really helps to just wind me down. I feel that little bit of a, a gentle, mm. almost like a buzz, mm. really gentle softening, and it just helps me to drift off to sleep. And I can't think of anything more special. And just giving yourself that time too. That's what yeah. I love about working with cacao. Like she's got her beautiful, subtle, energetic properties that kind of bring us back into our body and ground us. Mm. And then just providing that time and space for you to be present with yourself. Like you're a busy mum. We don't give ourselves that time. No. So for me, she's like the pause. Yeah. And then to be able to work with her, with other plants and particularly the oils because the mm. quality of doTERRA is so amazing that we can use them in this yes. way. I love to kind of have a bit of a play around with it. So cardamom's one of my favourite, but like at night time, add a drop of lavender into your cacao. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So beautiful. Like the most heavenly sleep on the planet. Wow. So we can have fun with the plants, you know. That's so awesome. Yeah. And your other business as well, the events that you do. Yeah, Talk I'm like trying to think about how I would like <laughs> encapsulate myself in like one sentence. When people are like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just have fun. You inspire people through the way that you live your life. Yeah, and then I kind of just share from that space. So mm -hmm. I do lots of different events and workshops, mm -hmm. um, dive a little bit deeper into ceremony with the cacao. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just like, it really comes back to bringing people together and creating community and connection. I think in a world that's becoming so digital, we do crave that in-person experience where we are connected, where we are building new relationships and finding like-minded people. So mm. I'm kind of like the bridge that weaves that together, I guess, through the event, yeah. events and brings a little bit of magic into the mundane. That's kind of like my slogan for life is like, how much Love magic it. can we bring into the mundane? You know, life can be so repetitious and we can get stuck in those loops and cycles. So sometimes having those little magical moments can be a bit of a circuit breaker and bring us back to like, there is, there's more, there's more than the grind, you know? So totally. yeah, the events range from really beautiful, deep ceremonies um, to more fun, lighthearted things and then rites of passage, just things that kind of support us through our transitions. With yeah. essential oils as well? Of course. They're yeah. weaved in everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything that I do without them. And they, they were. They're the kind of foundation that's brought me back to that connection, like I said, to nature and brought me back to that connection to myself because we're not separate from nature. And I think that's something mm -hmm. that as we grow, we've we've forgotten that we're one in the same. Mm -hmm. And because the oils are so easy for our minds to understand and consume, it, they're bridging that gap for us to take that leap back mm -hmm. into that connection. And so, you know, you might start using them from a very physical standpoint and seeing change in your physical body, but then your mind sli sli slightly starts to open to the concept of like them supporting you energetically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. And then from there you go down this beautiful rabbit hole and you know, next minute you're 
dancing under the moon with your medicine drum barefoot <laughs> on the earth. Like, you know. <laughs> I haven't tried that yet, but I might have to Maybe come to one of your events. <laughs> so we could talk all day about the whole magical emotional side of essential oils, but we're here for a specific reason, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> on guard. This is the staple in our home. Yeah. Is it in yours as well? Absolutely. And I don't know how people right. live without it. So oh, it's not my favourite. Like I have my favourites, but yeah. if I had to have just like one oil to support my family, oh yeah. God, through and through. Yeah, totally. Because it's so practical. There's so many different ways that we can use it. Literally every room in the house yeah. can be done with On Guard. I remember when I smelt On Guard for the first time and I thought, well... <laughs> It's not peppermint and it's not <laughs> lemon. It's not really making me feel, you know, happy or joyous. Mm. And it wasn't until my mum brain kicked in yeah. and I went, oh, hang on. Yeah. This is what it can actually do in the home. Yeah. And it's it was literally a ditch and switch. I was yeah. able to go underneath the, the kitchen sink and remove yeah every single product that sat under there went, yeah. well, I don't need any of you anymore, Yeah, all of you toxic, chemically-laden yeah. products because I've got on guard now. Yeah. And not just the essential oil, but we've got that whole on guard range that helps to support Which our homes. Yeah. It is so good. so good. So I want to hear a couple of your hot tips, how oh you gosh. use on guard <sighs> essential oil. I've home. got so many. I'm like, I need to like narrow them down. But um <laughs> We use it everywhere from cleaning our toilet to yep. like consuming it in our food. So for me, <laughs> and that's when you know you're onto something good. So not only do you know that it's good for you if you can clean your toilet with it and then use it internally, but it's saving you so much money as well. Yes. So I loved what you said that on guards replaced your whole, you know, under your kitchen cupboard. We were the same, very much the same. So we use it in our spray and wipe for mm -hmm. our surface cleaners. We use it to clean our toilet. Really incredible for cleaning the bathrooms because it has clove in it, which is so amazing yes. at making sure bathrooms stay nice and clean and healthy. We use it in oral hygiene. We use it yes. in everything. Um, one of my favorite ways to use it is to make bliss balls for the kids because oh. for me it tastes like fruit and nut. So if you mix it with a bit of cacao, sweeten it up with a bit of maple syrup, do your basic bliss ball recipe and pop a few drops of On Guard in there, it tastes amazing and they have no idea that they're getting the body support as well. So it's like a bit of a oh mum my hack. Gosh. Yeah. I'm, I've never heard that recipe before. It's really good. So if you like fruit and nuts, it's like this, my favorite. It's like the healthy version of fruit and nut. Sold. Yeah, yeah good. Done. Yeah. I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> that sounds incredible. Yeah. So we add it into our cooking in that way. Yeah. I love to make a mulled wine out of it too. So you can have fun Ooh. with your oils as well. So as much yeah. as they're really great at supporting us and keeping us healthy, yeah. you have a little bit of fun with it. Absolutely. Add a few drops into a mulled wine recipe because it's got those yeah. beautiful herbs and spices in it that yes. gives the depth. So, yeah. And Any even in Christmas, cacao or in cacao, like in your, yeah. your chai teas, yeah. anything like a Christmas fruit cake. Christmas cooking, yes. yeah, your Christmas cakes. Yeah, really fun to do it in that way. Beautiful. We love to use it before um, the kids leave for school as well. So we have like a roller ready to go. You can yeah. get it pre-diluted in the On Guard roller. Mm -hmm. um, and then I scrub it up and down their spine before they go to make sure their bodies are supported yeah. through all the seasons and everything that goes on with the young kids being exposed to yeah. a lot of you know, children all the time. Things get passed around, as we Gross. know. <laughs> Absolutely. My kids are in childcare and I just don't know what they're getting exposed to. Yeah. I mean, I can control my own castle. Mm. I can now I now have the resources to be able to support my own home. Yeah. But as soon as they step out of the door, I, I, I don't have control over that. Yeah. So like you said, it's so important that we help to support their little bodies yeah. by, you know, yeah, rolling it up and down their spine, yeah. popping it on the soles of their feet. Yeah. And as soon as they come back home, sanitizer <laughs> the on guard hand sanitizer is like one of my favorite products one Isn't of the great? cheapest products but one of my favorite and when the kids um in the last few years where they had to sanitize their hands all the time at school yeah. we just sent that in their school bag to make sure that they weren't getting the nasty chemicals in their body and it's phenomenal I love and they're it. not getting the dry skin no keeps either. them nice and hydrated so yeah. i think i have one in my car and one in my handbag too the kids have them in their yep. school bag spritz it on the hands and away they go it's awesome yeah totally yeah. and i think there's that aromatic anchor as well for me i now know so my first experience with on guard yeah i wasn't a huge fan of yeah. the aroma yeah I'm thinking, it's not my favorite and yet now i associate it with protection well i think when you see you physically see what it does for you you yes. fall in love with things yes. you know i was the same like i was like yeah, i'm not really into the christmasy vibes all year round <laughs> but now that i know how phenomenal it is yeah and how much of an impact it's made in our home. Yeah. You just have an undenying love for it, don't you? You smell Absolutely. it and you're like, oh. <laughs> so warming, cosy, I love yes. it. Yes, and yeah. reassuring, reassuring. Yeah. We had a, um, 
I guess a, a visitor, an unwanted visitor in our home yeah. this week, uh, a seasonal threat we might call it, yeah. um, that affected our tummies. And with two young kids, mm. you can imagine, uh, we were up all night. Yeah, we were cleaning bed sheets. I've it's been, been a, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been a week. I have lent so heavily yeah. on on guard to help cleanse, mm. clear the air, protect the home, but also help to, to feel a little bit more assured that I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Because you feel like you lose complete and utter control when you have this kind of invader in your home. Yeah, yeah. You think, hey, A, I need sleep, but B, how do I protect everyone? Yeah. Get this out of the system, get Especially them out of their home. as the mum too, you don't want to fall with you them as well because <laughs> you're holding the fort. So I love putting it in the diffuser, making yes. sure that the house is nice and cleansed and clean. Totally. We have a beautiful blend that we use when the house gets a little bit run down. Yeah. So we'll pop it into the bath with some bentonite clay, some magnesium, pop it in a little bit of coconut oh. milk or oat milk, whatever we've got going in the fridge mm. to disperse the essential oil into the bath. And then the kids will soak in that. So it's just another way, beautiful way to support their body to make sure they're oh. you know, top notch. So that's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, we do that. I like to put a little, uh, you know, some other calming oils in there too, mm -hmm. if they're struggling to kind of wind down in the evening. Yes. But that's one of our favorite ways to use it. So like a vetiver or a, yeah. or a lavender or yeah. even a cardamom. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the steady blend from the kids collection. Oh, nice. We love that. The kids love the smell of that. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we get it into kind of our bathroom routines yes. as well. Yes. We use it for everything. I don't think that there's anything that we don't use it for. And it blends yeah. so well, I find. I was putting it in the diffuser uh, yesterday and I was playing around with some different aromas because, like I said, on guard on its own, yeah. it's not my, not my favourite flavour. Yeah. But I mixed it with a bit of peppermint, a bit of lemon yeah. and then a dash of patchouli and I brought oh, that nice. floral aroma. And you wouldn't think that yeah. those four oils together would work. Mm. It smelled beautiful mm. but I also had that reassurance because that on guard was coming through. Yeah. thought just help to protect this home, please. Yeah. And it's amazing how quickly it does shift things in yeah. the house. It's phenomenal. So I don't know how yeah. people live without it. Have and the on guard clean and concentrate, that's my favourite. Yes. The stains, like mum of young kids, yep. clothes are constantly <laughs> stained. Little squirt of that, little rub, tuck it in the wash, there we go. I was very game wearing white I, no, today. I'm like <laughs> I wrapped myself up as I was I'm leaving so the house with a big trench coat. So kids, do not touch me. Yeah. I have to remain white. Yeah. But I also know that I've got that stain stick at home with the on guard cleaner yeah. concentrate in it. It's a little nice. bit of hydrogen peroxide, yeah, uh, and it just lifts everything. everything. Yeah, it the is laundry so liquid, good. especially if you've had what's gone through your house, going <laughs> washing your bed sheets or chucking a few oh. drops of on guard into your laundry, into it's, your washing machine. And that's a really that's good tip. Best. You just have that extra little bit of support. Yeah. So I have a a, a vinegar um, bottle that sits in the laundry, mm. and I put my empty bottles of essential yeah. oils in there because you know you have some residue oil drops right yeah. left over in the bottle. Yeah. But especially something like On Guard yeah. and Lemon and Eucalypt, just pop those bottles in the vinegar, let it swish around over the days, over the weeks, and yeah. use it as a fabric softener. Yeah. So I put that in the second compartment of the mm -hmm. washing machine yesterday with a cap full yeah. of my laundry liquid. And Perfect. Easy, cheap. Exactly. Non-toxic. Non-toxic, safe. Ticking all the boxes. The kids decide Winning they want to drink life. it, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing too, like with the, you know, having all the chemicals under the sink yep. and having young kids, you're so conscious of like, what if they get into something? Now oh, if yeah. they get into something, spray away, sweetheart. <laughs> you're probably doing totally. yourself some good. <laughs> my two-year-old really lovely. He's almost two. He's two this, this Saturday. And he loves to help with the cleaning, yeah. which is really great yeah. that he's getting involved. But I can... I can feel rest assured yeah. that he's not going to get hurt yeah. by spraying. Yeah. So you can go and have some fun on the fridge, spray away, give it a bit of a wipe, yeah. and I know that you're going to be you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, it is. So what are some tips <clears throat> for on guard physically? Physically? Yeah. So we, yeah, like I said, we like to use it just to make sure our bodies are well supported through the cooler months yeah. as things kind of dip and change. Yeah. Um, very, it's quite uplifting because it's got that yeah. wild orange in it. It can be quite invigorating. So we like to use it in the home if we want to lift the mood a little bit. I like to blend it in the diffuser with more citrus oils. I yeah. find that really lifts the whole blend. Yeah. So we love to use it in that way. Totally. Um, we use it so much in the, in the bathroom for our oral hygiene. So I love yes. the On Guard mouthwash is the best and the On Guard toothpaste, so phenomenal. Um, probably, yeah, up there with like, Cleaner concentrate. It was so funny. It took me so long to get on to cleaner concentrate. I was like, ah, 
And then once I did, really? I was like, I, why? Why? <laughs> why yes. did I take so long? I think because DIYs can feel a little bit daunting because mm. you think, oh, gosh, I have to create something. I have to make it when it's so easy to just go to the shops and pick up that yeah. something off the shelf. Yeah. But once you have the tools in front of you and the resources and you know what it can and do. you realise how easy it is and that half of the ingredients are already in your pantry. And like, you've just saved so much money. I can't believe how much money we actually save yeah. from doing it. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredi and the convenience too. Like if I run out of something, all I have to do is refill a bottle rather yeah. than going to the supermarket and going and picking something up that I have no totally. idea what's in it. Totally. No, it's all completely healthy. And you really Natural. only need about four or five ingredients to really cater for the majority of your household mm. cleaning. Yeah. You know, you, you need On Guard or a lemon essential oil. Yeah. You need some vinegar. Bit maybe of bicarb. Bicarb. Yep. That's it. Maybe a, a carrier oil for some of the recipes and, and filtered water. That's it. And if you've got that and some bottles. So easy. You've got so much. So easy. I Level of what. empowerment, you know, that we get to Absolutely. experience from that too. Absolutely. You know, again, another mum tick. Like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> makeup brushes. Yes. You're a makeup artist. I and was, a, yep. And a therapist. <laughs> yep. So you know that the bugs and the germs and all the nasties that can mm. hang around on our makeup brushes, yeah. do you use On Guard to help clean those? I use the On Guard hand sanitizing spray because what? it's quick drying. So, you know, oh if gosh. you want to use your brushes really quickly, but they're looking really yeah. filthy, yeah, spritz the sanitizer on there, wipe it on a piece of paper towel and away you go. That is such a good tip. Yeah. I actually yeah, and created... that's good for makeup artists on the go to yeah. use as well. So if they're doing like bridal makeup and, and whatnot and they've got to yeah. clean their brushes in between clients because you know what it's like when you wash them, it takes so long for them to dry because yeah. it's quick drying. That's really a really cool good hot tip. Yeah. Every week on a Saturday morning, I like to clean my brushes, but because I can allow them to dry, mm. um, I use a little bit of On Guard Cleaner Concentrate in a bowl of hot yeah, water great. and then a couple of drops of the, the oil as well. Yeah. And then a little bit of olive oil because it helps to break around. You know, oil yeah. is attracted to oil. So yeah. it breaks away the oils in the makeup. And then I know I'm starting the week fresh again yeah. and whatever I'm putting on my face is going to be good for me. Yeah. I'm yep, not going to get any exactly. of those nasty critters. Chemicals, yeah, because a lot yeah. of the commercial stuff that we also use to clean our makeup, even our makeup brushes with, are really stripping, not good for our skin. We think where we where we use our makeup brushes, on our yeah. face, where our skin is predominantly more sensitive as well. So, again, ticking all the boxes. It's just yeah. one of those all-rounders. It is. So you mentioned to me earlier that there's the practicality side of things when it comes to On Guard, but there's also the somewhat spirituality mm. side of things. Can you share what your hot tip is when you've got maybe a unwanted visitor, if we're talking more of that witchy space? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is um, actually one of the reasons why the oils kind of presented for me and On Guard was one of those ones that really showcased the physical side of how well he can support our family physically but also the energetic as well. Yeah. So On Guard being the protective blend, we think of that just purely for the physical body, but it's not. He's also quite protective for our energetic field as well. So I like to make him up in a spray bottle and spritz him around the door frames if we're having some unwanted energies in mm. the home. Um, he's going to protect our auric field and make sure that any lower frequencies or more dense energy that's not really welcome in our home is also going to be dispersed. Mm. So that's why it's really cool to use it in your diffuser. Yeah. Nice, easy, practical way of doing it. It's like the first thing that I do in the morning is get up and do my diffuser. But if I'm noticing that there's, um, yeah, some lower vibes in the home or things yeah. that just feel like they need to be shift or cleared, I'll pop on guard in to make sure that our bodies are well supported through seasonal threats, but also through moving anything that's not, yeah. not welcome in the home. So it's kind of like the black onyx of the essential oil world. If you're familiar with crystals, okay. yeah. the darker crystals absorb the denser energies. Yeah. I feel like he kind of does that too. Yeah. And I love that because even if people are unfamiliar with that whole, you know, the emotional, spiritual side of yeah. things, we all feel it when mm. you walk into a home and it feels heavy. Yeah. Uh, and even in your own home, if you've had a big week, mm. sometimes you just need to almost shake it off yeah. as Taylor Swift likes yeah. to say. <laughs> I know we love to have that little sing and, and dance sometimes with the kids. But there's, there's rhyme to that reason mm. that sometimes you just need to shift that energy, yeah. whether or not you believe in it or you know about it. Mm. Um, On Guard can help support you with that, which I think is so special. And this is what I love about the oils, right? Uh, 
from a logical standpoint, our human brains like to see change. So physical change is mm. easy for us to understand. They're going to work on the physical body and the energetic and emotional body, regardless of whether you believe in it or not. So it doesn't matter. It's not like you need to believe in it for it to work. They're already working on that, that level. Mm. So you're going, that's why it's such a broad spectrum product to be able to use, whether it's on guard, lavender, frankincense, whatever you're using it for. You're going to have that phys physical aspect that you're mm. going to notice great change within your, your body but you're getting that beautiful emotional and energetic support too. Mm. It's so special. It's the best. We could just dive down a whole rabbit hole with that. <laughs> oh, gosh, I would, I would love to. I just don't know if we've got enough time today. Maybe we can do part two part on two. guard, yeah. the emotional <laughs> side of living. I love that. Look, I wanted to finish off with one incredible story mm. that I heard recently from a colleague of mine. Uh, the story goes that a, a colleague of his used to make homemade yogurt. Yeah which I do as well at home. Mm. I love to make homemade yogurt. I like to remove a little bit of the sugars from your, your, your commercial yogurt. So anyway, super proud of this guy for making his own yeah. homemade yogurt. And he's been doing it for years. But all of a sudden, his yogurt wasn't coming to life. Mm. It wasn't, I guess, growing the bacteria needed to actually create that, that density, that thickening mm. that happens. And they couldn't work it out for the longest time. Mm. You won't believe what the cause of the yogurt not flourishing was. Mm. Cleaning with On Guard. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> the actual container that the yogurt was being made in was washed in On Guard. Yeah. And so the bacteria wasn't thriving in that. <laughs> That's it. In that bottle. How incredible is that? That's it. There's the, that's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> this is why we need on guard in our home. So if you're making yogurt, don't use on guard. <laughs> but for everything else, use on guard. We've got the cleaning range, yeah. so you can use that yeah. instead. Yeah, it's phenomenal. But look, thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. been an absolute treat to sit with you to chat all things mum life, spirituality, emotional being, and on guard. I have to pay you a compliment. You look so much like Sandra Bullock oh, and you, I think, are the epitome <laughs> of my favourite movie of all time, Practical Magic. Oh, Have you seen that? <laughs> One of my favourite movies, yes. It is. Yeah. I, I, we must be similar age yeah. because it was my all-time favourite movie growing yeah. up and I think that it really it makes me think that it emulates you perfectly you. because you've got that practicality yeah. of mum life and knowing how the oils can be infused in your home in a practical sense but then you've got that touch of magic which is really special. So thank you. it's been a real treat. Thank you so much oh, for coming on the couch with me. me. It's been the best. Yeah, thank you. And thank you everyone for being with us today. I hope you too have found some inspiration to uncap that bottle from nature and see where it takes you. Until next time, bye for now.